fire. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? I'm Super Dan the Shoe Man. I'm back with another video today. I was gonna do this video earlier today, and I was the only one in the house other than Trent. So he didn't really give me enough time to make the video. So it's a little bit late, and man, just every minute that I get that I don't really have to do anything with him, or you know, I don't have to clean something, or you know, something's going on here. Like, I just don't really feel like making videos, but I got to, gotta make this video. It's already, what, two days late, because it's Monday now, these shoes dropped on Saturday. And this was a pretty important release for me, for a whole lot of reasons. And if you clicked on this video, you saw the thumbnail. It's not my typical thumbnail. Uh, I'm gonna try to make it as good as I can, but uh, my boy, my nephew, Isaac, had, has been feeling like way under the weather lately, and he's not able to make my my thumbnails for me. But thanks for clicking on this, because this is like the best time for me to talk about a word from our sponsor, and uh, I was just given a really good word today. So here it is. This is all the way back to Old Testament Deuteronomy 28.2, and these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you if you heed the voice of the Lord your God. And that kind of led me on. Uh, again to Matthew 6 verse 33 seek first the kingdom of God above all else live righteously and he will give you everything you need and I've talked about this before like a lot of people talk about how like, God brings things upon us and like God how could you let this happen why would you do this it's not God doing any of those things when Jesus was here he didn't go around cursing people he went around healing people. That's all you hear about. You don't hear about anybody getting cursed, anybody being made sick. Everybody was healed that came into contact with Jesus. And if we just seek him, that's what those people did. They sought him for their healing. If we just seek him, that's all we need to do. And that can be really tough a, a lot of the times. But if that's what we do, then, uh, then we'll be healed, just like Jesus healed everybody that, that sought him for his healing. And, and his healing in, in all different kinds of ways. It's not just, I mean, it, it went from somebody who couldn't walk, somebody who had a, some kind of bleeding disease, or people that were dead. So, I mean, like every spectrum of anything you could possibly need healing from. So thank you, Jesus, for healing us. So uh, let's talk about the release Saturday, the Lost and Found release. I was, and Miguel, Miguel and I talk about shoes all the time, and he wasn't able to hit on any of the raffles beforehand. And I was like, man, don't worry about it. There's going to be half a million of these things. Ended up there were, I think, 300 something thousand or more on sneakers. There were 33,000 pairs in size 11. And at least according to the numbers that I saw, the numbers that, you know, are widely set, accepted as being accurate. And none of us hit on sneakers. I got three of my accounts in, two, no, then four or five, or four or five of my other accounts I wasn't even able to get in on. And. Uh, I mean, it was just a fiasco. People say it was bots. Maybe it was bots. It could have been, but there's no more bots in that than there are for Travis Scott's or something like that to drop because there's not that much of a margin on these. I mean, they're worth money, but it's people actually wanted these. I think these, this is a, this is Chicago. So, I mean, the last ones I think might be going for $500, the 2017s, I think they were 2015s. Um, and these aren't quite as nice as those. I don't think because they're aged. But it's like last year, though. The hype was huge on these the day of. Hesper wore these today, so they're down. I think mine are up at the top there. I got another piece, another uh, pair down here on ice. Um, but these are Hespers just because she wore them today. And, you know, the hype got up on these. These are going for, like, over 400 bucks the day of the release. And uh, I paid too much for, for Miguel's pair, extra pair. I think it was, it must have been his extra pair. Um, and I've just got those sitting down here because I don't really want to lose any money on them. And, you know, I'll leave them for later. Um, but uh, I think this is going to work kind of like that. I think the, the hype's just going to die down. And there were a lot of people that wanted them. But again, just like there always is on any hyped release, any release that, where there's shoes that are worth more than, than what they're selling for from Nike, there's going to be resellers and people that want them just to resell them and don't have any interest in having the shoe. And there's going to be a whole lot more of those that got W's this time, and they're going to go try to sell, and they're not going to be able to sell for the price they want because uh, there's so many of them. Uh, another thing that was special about this release was that Hesper and I both wore, I think you can only see the box from where we're in frame right now. We both wore our uh, Concords for the first time. You may not have seen my Concord video. I don't think I published it yet. Well, you'll see that next. Um, but I got mine the other day 
and that was the first time I wore them. And she didn't even know she had these. Like she forgot that I, I told her she got these. So we wore them to the mall together. And then also, it's the first time that Trent went with me for his pair. So we've got Itsy Bitsies. I think you can kind of see this in the frame right here. Itsy Bitsies are knitted. We've got a Jordan 4, uh, Military Black, Jordan 11, Cool Gray. Uh, that's a Yeezy Foam Runner. Yeah, Foam Runner in Sulphur. we got his taxis right under my taxi. I think you can see all the way up the top. And then he's got some um, Panda Dunks. And we both twin these. To, can twin these. We, we haven't yet. Um, I, I can't remember. I, I think that I didn't have... Oh, what size is this one? Okay, this is a 2C. Most of these things are only made in 2C, and that's all you can find, at least on sneakers. Um, but Trent was with me. We went into DTLR and managed to get a, his pair. And it's the only pair that I have now in 1C. It's a crib shoe. Only pair I have in 1C. Uh, so like I said, uh, I got my pair, and I hit on my pair. Actually, Hesper hit on my pair at the, on the Hibbit app. Um, and then I hit, thankfully, on Isaac's pair because he wasn't able to go for the release. Um, but I hit on Isaac's pair. Where did I get this one? The finish line. Uh, exclusive access. That was the only pair that was left. I also got exclusive access on the ship to me for a size six, which thankfully also Isaac's dad, my brother-in-law is going to trade me for the six and a half that he got, I think on sneakers. So when those come in, uh, we'll be able to triplet these, me and Hesper and Trent, and then also Isaac, who wanted this pair for himself, will have his. I'm not going to take his out right now. Let me just take mine out. So I haven't seen these in person since I saw them at... Uh, I haven't seen the box in person at all, but I haven't seen the shoe in person at all since I saw them on the, the shelf at Memory Lane. So if y'all haven't seen these yet, here's the box. It's supposed to look like, you know, just a normal Nike box. Uh, maybe kind of like... No, I'm going to throw things. Here, I'm going to get this one. This is... Trent's Panda Dunk Box. This is just a normal Nike box. It's supposed to kind of look like that. And obviously it's old. It's supposed to be from the 80s. And then it's supposed to look like the box is all worn and, and what, uh, smudged. No, it's not smudged. I don't know, worn. Uh, it's got sale price here. The, the sale tags printed on the... No, it's actually stuck on the box. I think I remember that. It is actually stuck on the box. These are sale. And I think this was like $64.99 must have been what these were going for in 1985 i don't remember because i was two and this is my size 11 air jordan one retro high og varsity red black sail muslin the the paper in here is great now i don't remember paper from the 80s but i do remember magazines that we got in the 90s and man they were they were just awesome you get all these shoes in the magazine like, man i want those i want those i want those this is one of those pairs that were in there. This is another pair that was in there. Managed to pick up a pair of these. If you haven't seen, I, I found these on the, 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 the shelf at DTLR. And uh, I was about to buy my buddy a pair. And I was like, well, if they're on the shelf, I wonder what they're going for on, on StockX. And, I mean, I, I think for those, StockX is going to be as legit as anything. So I don't really mind ordering those from StockX. And I got them below retail for my buddy. So uh, that was a W. Check those out if you want something below retail. Here it is. This is it. This is the Lost and Found. This is the 2022 Chicago. Again, remember, this came out about last year. We got the remake, remastered bread. Here's the remastered uh, Chicago. So, when I saw these at Memory Lane, I do really like them. I'm not a... I, I, I think that this... Uh, uh, you know what? Let's hit some B-roll. So what I really like about these is this red leather is great. Like it feels awesome. It feels like it's gonna wear really great. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of cracked leather. This cracked leather 
seems like the black crack leather seems like it's more accurate to aging how it would actually age the white crack you can't see it as well as well which I, I prefer because you don't know that it's there as much but it doesn't seem quite as accurate like how the, this material would actually age and so i don't like it that much because of that um but the black i think is pretty accurate i think i've had some shoes like this not jordan ones but shoes like this they cracked similarly but the red leather is just buttery man i, I really like this and not uh, a Jordan 11. It doesn't smell like a Jordan 11, but it does smell pretty good. I think we're getting the Dream Cell. Yeah, we're getting the Dream Cell black. Uh, it's supposed to be black polyurethane-ish material, so it's not uh, the crappy blue stuff, but it's not the, bad, the really good polyurethane insole, but I don't think either of those, I think it's just the normal one that would have come in the, the original model. Um, what I Another thing I like, I personally like about these, I did not like the feel of the Georgetown High 85s. Or the smell. Go back and watch my Georgetown High 85 video. It smells like crap. Uh, which I don't think these are supposed to be 85s, um, even though they're supposed to be the old look. Um, old looking. They're not the 85 cut. But those were really stiff. And they, they might have been more accurate to the OG, but I, I don't really like that. Um, I'm also not a huge fan of the orangey tongue, like you see the orange foam color coming through the, the sheer uh, nylon tongue material. I'm not a huge fan of that, but I'm okay with it. Like overall, could have done without the cracked white and could have done without the orange that you can see through here. But overall, I really like the shoe. Um, the, the muslin, I guess, color that is on the midsole isn't overdone. Um, aged like some shoes that just look nasty when they when they when they when they attempt to make them look aged. This one's okay. Let's get a look at this one really quick. Again, this was detail DTLR off the shelf, and the lady who sold it to me was talking crap. Like, who in the world would pay fifty dollars for this for their kid that's going to outgrow it? I mean, people paying five hundred dollars for this, so whatever. Um, but you know what? I don't really care. There it is. So we're going to be tripleting this. I'll wear mine. Hesper wear hers. Trent will wear his as soon as it'll fit his foot. Um, he hasn't really been wearing. Oh, here we go. So there's no laces on this one at all. Whereas this is a crib booty. Okay, this is the same, but this is a 2C. Uh, it's also a crib, a crib shoe. Um, so now we've got his 1C. Now, I think I need to cool it. Y'all can y'all can comment down below and tell me if you think I should cool it with Trent shoes. I think that's it. He's got three pairs of uh, Itsy Bitsies, which he can wear now. Then, uh, like I said, Jordan 4, Jordan 11, Panda Dunk, Taxi 1, Sulphur. The Sulphur's bigger. It's like a 4K, I think, is the size that, that Yeezy had. And then the 2C and this. I, I think that's it. So in 2Cs. This is just in one size, y'all. 2Cs got one, two, three, four, five. Five. Yeah. And then this is six. So y'all y'all can comment down below and tell me if I just need to cool it with his shoes. Um, I'm gonna leave these out too. So uh, all in all, I mean Nike. So I was talking to some guys online on the Society of Souls website, and really everything is just a draw in any sense that Nike handles it, in any sense that any other uh, site handles it. It's all just a draw. I went for the Ama Manier for. Uh, on Amo Manier the other day, and uh, I had some issues with the page loading. I was able to get a size six and a half, so you'll see that compared to this one pretty soon. Um, hopefully, they'll get here. I guess probably won't get here until next week. But you know, that's like luck of the draw. You got to go quick. You got to be on have a good whatever Google number it is for your Google account to hopefully not have to draw too many pictures around cats. I think I had to do traffic lights this time. So, uh, and and with this, like I said, three out of my eight or nine accounts that I had going, couldn't even get in. Whether or not you can get in is kind of part of the luck of the draw. Whether or not you can get in, I mean, it feels bad. It feels worse to not even be able to get in. I was glad that I got in on three of my accounts, even though it looked like I got in on three three accounts for the both uh, men's and grade school. It looked like the grade school didn't even recognize that I got in, even though I saw that it said I was in line. I, I never got any notification that I didn't get them. Um, I'm pretty sure I got the notification on all the other for all of the men's. I know I got it on two. Maybe I didn't get it on the last one. That I didn't get them. Um, but, 
like it's all just luck of the draw and whether or not you get into the draw part of the 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 issue that we were having whatever nike couldn't handle as many people that were going in Nike couldn't handle the traffic maybe it wasn't even nike maybe it was like amazon web services or you know whatever you the internet couldn't handle everybody that was going for these things um it's just kind of all part of luck the luck of the draw that's weird little piece of rubber just strung out of my midsole didn't really cause a problem though so i'm okay with it but and i really i just really like this it's almost like basketball leather without the like dimples or nipples or whatever the basketballs uh the, the whatever the what do you call it the i don't know what you call it what do you call it whatever the the texture is on a basketball there's no texture it's just smooth but it's really smooth so i'm definitely keeping these there's no way i'm getting rid of them hopefully though Miguel didn't hit on his. I was going to give him a pair of mine if I got on, on if I got another pair of 11s, but I got to keep these because got to have the Chicago's in the uh, in the collection. I got way more than what I need here, but got to have got to have the Chicago's. Um, but like I said, if I get another pair, if I manage to get another pair, if they restock these, everybody's putting that. It's probably just clickbait saying that these are going to restock. I mean, I'm sure they'll restock at some point. There'll probably be a Jordan Reserve at some point, but like it's going to happen next week. Probably not unless Nike did something and they realized that they didn't sell as much as they needed to, or maybe they did something about the botting that supposedly happened. If it did, I mean, I, I wouldn't expect there's any more botting like I said, it, than with this than in any Travis Scott release or anything like that. So, um, but I'm glad I was able to get my in-store pairs. Not when, the mall that I went to that I picked up both of these pairs at. N nothing was really going on there. Like it wasn't, there were no lines or anything because nobody did first come first serve. There was no athlete's foot in the mall I went to. Um, there were, I think DTLR got got a couple phone calls while I was standing there. Like, what are you going to do with your shoes? You got extras? And they're like, no, nah, we raffled them. We're going to sell them tomorrow. Oh, you're going to sell them tomorrow? Well, what can I come tonight? No, because we're going to sell them tomorrow. And they might've had a lot of pairs. They might've had some extras. I didn't really want to get out again yesterday. So, um, man, that's nice. What do y'all think? So, uh, Y'all let me know how you did. Were you able to cop a pair? Was it as bad for you? X, was it as bad for you across the pond? Uh, how did your sneakers go? I'm sure you went for these. Let me see. Man, these, these are really nice. I'm just glad I got a pair. And I'm glad I got uh, my nephew a pair because he wasn't able to go for them. And this was... He he he's he resells most of the shoes that he gets. He, the only reason he would... 99% of the shoes he gets... 95% of the shoes he gets, he's only going to resell them. And, you know, with his one or two accounts... But uh, this was a pair that he really wanted. So glad I was able to get his size. And I only kind of by chance got his size 10 and a half, which he could, he would, he would make himself wear these if this is all I got. But when I went into finish line um, for exclusive access, by the time I got in, uh, this was 10 and a half was the, was the biggest size. So that's why, that's why I was able to get his size or else I probably would have gotten two size 11. So thank you all for watching this video. Pray for Isaac as he's feeling under the weather. Um, Send him some good vibes, vibes if that's it, if that's all you got. But even if it isn't all you got, just say a little prayer. Just say, God, help Isaac. Um, but I need some super glue, by the way. I need to fix this stuff. I, it's, it's making me mad. Like the, the little little pegs don't want to stay. Anyways, let's see. Tell your grandma about the Jordan 1 Chicago Remastered, a.k.a. Lost and Found. And these ain't sitting in anybody's lost and found because they'll get yanked up. They will never even make it to the lost and found. How about that? Um, if somebody finds them, then they ain't going to be turning them in. So, man, these are nice. Really like this leather. I don't know how I'm going to close this video out. I'm so out of, uh, out of practice with making videos. So, you know, y'all just smash the like button. Smash the like button. Comment down below. Tell your grandma. I'll see y'all next time. <laughs> You're so pretty. Say bye. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>